Hi, this is Marie, episode 70, World Peace Knits and Crochets. I have lots of makes to share with you today. I'm going to go ahead and get started with all the things I've been working on. This is a granny shawl that I made a while back, and I've been wearing it because I really like it. I just had it on today to keep warm. The first thing that I have to share with you is a pair of sleeves. I'm just calling them easy peasy sleeves. What I thought when I started, I was like, I'm gonna make like a cocoon. And so I started out making a big granny square and I was gonna make it into one of those cocoon sweaters where you have a large square and then you kind of um, fold it over and then you crochet to make the arms. So I was considering making that to begin with So I started on the granny square and then I decided to change midway through my project and I wanted to make these sleeves So what I used is I used some ice yarns. I used three different colors these three colors I used a Softly Baby Lilac, Favorite Gray, and Classic Erin in Lilac. And I went ahead and linked them down below. Some of them you can still get, and some of them are on uh, like back order or something like that, so you might want to check back with them. Uh, but I linked them all below. Hopefully you can find them when you're looking. And I'll go ahead and show you this pair of sleeves. So let me take this off. Okay, so the sleeves, what I did was I decided, so I made that big rectangle. It's folded in half currently, but I made this big like rectangle and then I folded it in half and then I crocheted sleeves off of the sides of the, the rectangle and it opens up like this. So you just kind of put it on like a pair of sleeves. It's kind of like a shawl really. So you just kind of put it on like this and it's open right here and you have these little sleeves. It's super cozy. I really like it. And it's, and what I used was I used a size uh, J hook and then I also used size eight DPNs and I used those for the cuffs. I decided I liked um, the ribbing for cuffs, but you can do crochet ribbing as well. So there's lots of different um, options if you wanted to just crochet the whole thing. But I really like how it turned out. It's like super cozy. You could do like even if you wanted to crochet more onto here, you could make like a little collar, make this just a little bit bigger if you wanted to go around it. But I really like how it turned out. Sometimes my arms are just cold. And so I think this will be so, so cool to wear this winter. So I'm kind of glad that I got, um, that I just changed my mind midway and made sleeves. If you want me to do a tutorial on this, I can. It was super easy, just a big granny square. And then I just did like some double crochets on the arms and I did some decreases and things like that. So, but I love how it turned out. Like it's so cute. And I love that I just used scraps because I didn't have like all of one color. Like if you have a bunch of one color, you can totally do that. Um, if you want me to make a tutorial, definitely leave a note below and I'll work on that when I get a chance. Okay, so the next thing that I have that I finished, okay, was some fingerless mitts. So I just had some of this um, Drops Fobble and that's what it looks like. This is all I had left. And it's just some sock yarn. And it's self-striping. And I made this pair of fingerless mitts. They're so cute. I love this yarn. It's got like purples and reds and just like the coolest colors in it. So this is how they turned out. I use my, um, just my standard tutorial that I have on YouTube here and I'll link it down below and I'll link it up above actually on how to make fingerless mitts or how I make my fingerless mitts. They're super easy, super quick. So I love how they turned out. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And I just use scraps. I mean, really, I, I actually think this might have been a 50 gram ball and it was just, and I had used some of it already. It's color 911. Um, drops Fobble, and I think you could probably still find it if you're interested on Etsy. 
because I think that that's where I ended up getting it from a while back is on Etsy, but I really love how they turned out. So, all right. So the next thing that I did, oh, you know, on those, I used a few rows of Regia Tweed four ply at the beginning. And I think, yeah, here it is right here. This is what I used at the beginning and the end. And I really like this for like cuffs, heels, and toes on different things. But I used it right at the beginning and at the end. But you don't have to do that. It was just if you like to do that sort of thing and add just a little like like tip of um, not color. Of <laughs> or you could do color, you know, d a different color. But I liked how it looked with the white or the cream color on the, the edge of it. So the next thing that I have is these fingerless mitts. This is some Halloween sock wool by Hobby. And the color is color number four. I really love this green this year. I mean, this green is like, it's really cool with gray. I have another project that I made in these same colors that I really just love. And so I made a pair of fingerless mitts and I used my same like tutorial on how to make fingerless mitts. And I have it linked down below and um, this is how they turned out. I just love these. I love these colors of like multiple green colors and then the gray. It's so cute together. I really love how they turned out. So these were um, the color number four, size 2.75 DPNs, and I cast on 64 stitches. And then I just did a little thumb hole and I show you how to do that in the video. So I love how they turned out. And you could definitely um, make them match, but I didn't. I just picked up where one of them left off and I started knitting. <laughs> so you, but you could wind off like some of the yarn to make them match, you know, to get to the same spot where you started the first knit. All right, so the next thing that I have, oh my gosh, okay, so this is super fun. So <laughs> I love knitting leg warmers. I mean, they're like so fun to knit and wear and everything like that. And so this pair I had started, I went up to Estes Park and I went to uh, Peak to Peak Stitchery and they had this yarn and I had gotten two um, balls of each and I used one ball of each. Actually, I used one ball and a little bit of the ebony. So this one I used one and a quarter skeins. I used a little bit of this because I had um, the I had used up the whole first ball and then I used just three quarters of a skein of this and this is what I don't know if you can see the labels but this is like a tweed it's so cool and so this is ebony and this is tiger and these are universal worsted tweed superwash so you can totally wash them in the washer and dryer and everything but I love how the tweed looks it's just super cool and rustic and I made these leg warmers. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so fun. They took a little bit of time, you know, because they're long and, but I love them. They are so cute. And I have actually a leg warmer video. Like I use my same tutorial, like the same pattern that I used in my tutorial to make these, except for I just made them stripe. So on these I used, and I'll totally link my tutorial up, up above, but I used my my um, my tutorial and then I used size seven needles, 16 inch circular. So just like a hat, 16 inch circular needle. And then I just striped like 11 rows after I did like a three and a half inch cuff of each. And then I did another three and a half inch cuff at the bottom. So, and these are so much fun. Like, you definitely have to try making them. Okay, and so the next thing that I have, okay, so I made a pair of socks for my sister's husband for Christmas. And I used a sock set that I got from a homespun house. 
So a homespun house, she's in Germany, I believe. These two came together, both of these. And this is a pumpkin spice sock set from a homespun house. I had this extra purple mini, so I went ahead and used this for the heels. I wasn't sure that I had enough to use this for the toes, the heels, and a little bit on the cuff. So I went ahead and added the uh, another color. This is what they turned out like. I really love them. They're so cute. I did um, a 64 stitch um, cast on, and then I used size 2.75 and double pointed needles. And then I just did a standard um, afterthought heel. Okay, so I have another project that I had been working on is this Saturday Shrug. I, I finished it and I just used like scraps of yarn. Just like I had that hobby with this color, I used <laughs> scraps of yarn to make um, a Saturday Shrug and I love that pattern. It's a Saturday Shrug. I'll go ahead and link down below. I believe it's a free pattern and it's by Jackie. Um, I think it's Jackie Rose is her name. So with mine, I'm taller and I'm like, I'm like 6'2", so I, I did a larger cast on because I have bigger shoulders and everything than um, the original cast on in the pattern. So I cast on 164 on a size 10 needles. I just used regular worsted that I had in my, um, in my stash and I used different uh, colors. So I had softly baby uh, baby green is this one and then i had favorite in a dark gray and then i had some scraps of plucky knitter worsted and then this other green this really pretty like hand dyed green that's plucky worsted and i love how it turned out i didn't have a lot of that um, the plucky so I just ended up doing a small stripe right here and then I just did mostly gray at the top but I do love how it turned out it's so cute and I did it the 20 inches long that she um, she says that you should do it 20 inches long so I did the same um, the same length but I just did a wider cast on so that it would fit over my shoulders. I'm just arranging the back a little bit. But I love how it turned out. It's so cute. And it's so cozy. Like I've been wearing my other ones. This is my third one that I've made. And I want to make more. Oh my gosh. But I love how it turned out. It's so cute. And I just used scraps. I mean, what more could you ask for, right? And I'll go ahead and link down uh, below all the colors that I used in case you're looking for them uh, at ice. So these were, the gray is ice and then the, the baby, softly baby, baby green is ice yarns as well. And then the other one, plucky knitter, is a hand dyed, so. All right, and you can also wear it, like I was wearing one the other day, like for grocery pickup. I went to Walmart to get a grocery pickup order and I had my purple and gray one on just like this, like a cowl. And it was so cozy and I didn't have to wear a coat or anything. I just had like a long sleeve shirt on and my, my um, Saturday shrug. So you should definitely try to make one. They're so easy. It's definitely beginner friendly. So, all righty. So the next thing that I have is some works in progress to share with you. For our holiday party, I decided I was going to make um, my boss, my one of my bosses at work, he had come up and said how he had wanted some um, fingerless mitts. And I decided that I was going to ask my other boss what colors to do. And she had said to use um, gold and black. And so I looked through my stash to see what I had to make uh, the mitts with. And I had this uh, West Yorkshire Spinners um, from another project left over, and it's kind of gold colored. This one is West Yorkshire Spinners, color number 240. And then I had Lorna's Laces in the Shepherd's Sock. Um, and then the color is 1216 Paris. 
And I, re I really like Lorna's Laces Knit Up Into Fingerless Mitts. The colors on her yarn is are just fabulous. I'm not sure if she's still dyeing yarn or not, but I love it. I think that I got this from San Francisco like a long time ago in a shop in the city. Um, like, I don't remember the name of the shop, but I remembered that it had a yarn wall, a giant yarn wall with a big ladder that you climbed up to, to get the yarn. Anyway, so I'm using both of these to make the fingerless mitts for my big boss. And this is how they're turning out. I really like how they're looking so far. They're going to be super cozy and they're going to be in these team colors that my bo my other boss told me about. So so hopefully, hopefully he likes them. All right, and I used, on these, I used my standard um, pattern for knitting fingerless mitts. And I'll link it down below, but definitely I love them. And I love that little stitch marker. It's like a little donut. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> like a fall donut, apple cider donut maybe. All right. Okay, so the next thing that I have is, uh, okay, a pair of socks that I cast on. So these are some holiday socks. This is um, Regia 4-ply and the color number 09408. I cast on 64 stitches. I used a size 2.75 needles, my standard vanilla sock pattern that I follow. I'm doing an afterthought heel, and this is what they look like. And you know what the great thing about this Regia yarn is that it is like super long lasting. Some of the other yarns, um, you know, they last quite a bit of time, you know, in socks, but the Regia seems to last forever. I don't know what it is about them, but um, their, their yarn composition is like really sturdy. All right, so I have these on the needles. This last pair of fingerless mitts that I'm starting is um, Chocolate Rainbow, and it's on Western Sky Knits yarn, and I love it. It looks, it's like, it's definitely a chocolate rainbow. And I'm also using this Stroll Tweed by Knit Picks, and it's just in like a, The color is called Oyster Heather. So. so I started off with that. And then I've just been doing some stripes. But I love how it turned out so far. So I'm just using the Stroll Tweed and then the Chocolate Rainbow. And just kind of making some stripes in there. And I love it. It's super cute. Okay. And so I did want to share with you just a couple of other things. I got some yarn in the mail for the holidays just so I could make some um, some holiday socks. The first thing that I got, um, well, I'll just share with you. I got this. I haven't opened it yet. I'm super excited. It's a Freckled Whimsy 2023 Advent. And it comes wrapped up like this. And then you have to wait until December 1st to open it. And I just got mine in the mail the other day. And on mine, I got, I got it on the Splendid um, base. It's 24 stripes. So it's going to have 24 different colored stripes on it. So these are going to be super stripey. I'm not sure what I'm going to make with it yet. I got a split skein twisted together. So there'll be two exact skeins. And then I got a 20 gram mini with it. So... Stay tuned to see what I make with that on the next, the next episode. And then I also went um, to the West Yorkshire Spinners and I got their holiday colorway. And this one is called Nutcracker. So this is their new holiday colorway. And I went ahead and I got these two colors to go with it. I got Amber because I thought that went with it pretty well and then Cobalt. And I'm going to make a pair of socks with those. So 
All right. I'll catch you next time and I'll link everything down below, you know, or at least I'll give you the name of it if you're looking for it and um, link uh, some of the stuff. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.